Let's dive into something pretty intense, the vision of the Son of Man that John had in the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 9 to 20. Now this vision is full of symbolism and deep meaning, but we're going to keep it simple and easy to understand. So let's get into it. So here's the deal. John, one of Jesus' disciples, was on this rocky island called Patmos. He was there because of his faith, preaching about Jesus. It was the Lord's Day, maybe like a Sunday, and John was in the Spirit, which means he was praying or having some deep spiritual experience. All of a sudden, he hears this loud voice behind him, like a trumpet blast. The voice tells him to write down everything he's about to see and send it to seven specific churches. Now these aren't just random churches, they're in some key cities of that time. John turns around to see who's talking, and man, what he sees blows his mind. There, in the middle of seven golden lampstands, he sees someone who looks like a son of man. Now when John says son of man, he's talking about Jesus, but in this powerful heavenly form. Jesus is dressed in this long robe with a golden sash around his chest. It's the kind of outfit that says, I'm the real deal. His head and hair are white like wool, white as snow. This isn't just a cool look. White hair symbolizes wisdom and purity. Jesus is showing that he's eternal, wise beyond anything we can imagine. His eyes are like flames of fire. Imagine that for a second, eyes that see right through you, right to your soul. Nothing is hidden from him. His feet, they're like bronze glowing in a furnace, solid and strong, symbolizing judgment. When he speaks, it's like the sound of rushing waters, powerful, overwhelming, something you can't ignore. In his right hand, Jesus is holding seven stars. What's that about? Well, the seven stars represent the angels or messengers of the seven churches. And out of his mouth comes a sharp, double-edged sword. This is a symbol of his word. It's sharp. It cuts through lies and brings truth. And his face, man, it's shining like the sun in all its brilliance. This isn't just about brightness. It's showing Jesus in all his glory, something that's hard to even look at because it's so overwhelming. So what does John do when he sees all this? He falls at Jesus' feet as if he's dead. He's overwhelmed by the sheer power and holiness of what he's seeing. But then, Jesus does something amazing. He reaches out, touches John, and says, don't be afraid. Imagine that, here's the Son of Man in all his glory telling John not to be afraid. Jesus goes on to say, I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead, and now look, I am alive forever and ever, and I hold the keys of death in Hades. This is Jesus saying, I've got power over life and death, and you don't need to fear anything because I'm in control. Then Jesus tells John to write down what he's seen and what's going to happen next. He explains that the seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven lampstands are the churches themselves. This shows that Jesus is in the midst of the churches, he's present, and he's watching over them. But it's also a reminder that he's holding them accountable. The lampstands give light, and the churches are supposed to be a light to the world. But Jesus is saying, I'm right here in the middle of you, and I'm paying attention. So, what can we take from all this? The vision of the Son of Man is a powerful reminder of who Jesus really is. He's not just the gentle teacher we see in the Gospels, He's the King of Kings, full of power, glory, and authority. He's got the final say over life and death, and he's right here in the midst of his people, guiding and protecting them. This vision is meant to encourage us, to remind us that no matter what we're going through, Jesus is in control. And just like he told John, don't be afraid, he's telling us the same thing today. We don't have to fear the future because Jesus has already won the victory. That's a wrap on the vision of the Son of Man in Revelation. It's a powerful picture of who Jesus is and what he's about. If you ever feel overwhelmed by life, just remember this vision. Jesus is right there in the middle of everything with all the power and glory you can imagine. Thanks for sticking with me and I hope this gives you a new perspective on the book of Revelation.